Welcome back, buzzers and buzzettes. We are back with another episode of JLJ. It's been a while. Um, you'll notice a new face over to my left with Jordan. Um, she's going to be filling in for Janathian, who is no longer here. Uh, yeah. One, two. Didn't it sound like it? All right. Today we're going to be talking about Taylor Swift. We yeah. have three, well, two Swifties, one half Swiftie, Swiftie, one half Swiftie. And then me and Lucas. I actually, I wouldn't. We're not hardcore Swifties. I wouldn't label myself as a Swiftie. I'm just a fan. We're just like, like I'm not like, okay. I'm not obsessed. Right. We're not weird like that. Yeah, we're, we're not enjoy. the fan base. Okay, got yeah. it. Like got it. So, me. what do we want to talk about first? Kind of letting like you guys. Why you don't like her. Why How I much don't I hate like her, her boyfriend. Travis? You don't like Travis Kelsey. No, I don't like Travis Kelsey. Oh yeah, you're yeah. A, you're a part of the Niners family. I lost anyway, respect. Uh, why don't I like Taylor Swift? Um, yeah, I will why admit, don't you, Josh? I'm getting to you? that. Mm-hmm. Let him speak. Okay. I will admit that I do like some of her songs, not a whole lot. Like our song is probably my favorite of hers. And, like, Shake It Off. I don't like any of her new stuff. <laughs> What's wrong with Shake It Off? Shake It Off is probably awesome. the worst song that, that you could listen to. And, and me. Shrank is singing it right now. It's or me. Cruel Summer. See? Okay, it's no, like Cruel Summer is not like, that bad. I don't know, like, a pump-up song, I guess, is what you call it. For, like, if you're going to, like, I don't know, go play basketball or something. But, like, I would never just, like, listen to it in the car. Listen to it by myself with my headphones. Oh, God, no, I don't do that. I'm, like, cleaning my room, like. No, I, I, don't do that. Do I don't do that. I never said I listen to it like daily. I just okay, said but you said it was one of her best songs. I just sa- I didn't say it was one of her best songs. I said it was one of the ones I liked. Yeah. You can't say anything. That's it. You should have played her famous song, right? Yeah, that's like one of her most famous songs. Unfortunately, because people are uncultured. no shade, no shade. But, but shade. every time the song comes on, like a lot just, of shade. I just <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad. Okay, why don't you like Taylor Swift? Um. I just think her music is like always the same. Sorry about that. She's <laughs> gone from country to pop to what is to it? To pop, now? still. She's still on pop. No, it's no, else. she changed it for like folk. That was like a different one. Yeah. Indie? Indie? Not really. Indie Not rock? That. Indie. <laughs> no, she's still pop. What oh. would you classify her music as? I literally don't the last know. album she came out with pop, but there was one before that, the folklore album. Which yeah. you wouldn't know about because you're not a fan. Because you're on culture. Because your yeah. music sucks. Um, I'm sorry. I, so I heard something. <coughs> I heard someone talking, but I couldn't really put it. Her music huh? is trash. I really, really I can't. Okay, hear Josh, out what the kind haters? of music do you Blocking like? Out the haters. Anything but Taylor Swift. You say any kind of name a song, and if it's a rap song, you have no opinion. It's like, I don't listen to a lot of rap. I listen to like 80s rock. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay, Grandpa. That's fine. <laughs> but, like, the people who go, like, around bashing Taylor Swift that only ris- listen to rap, like, the I same agree. song I that agree. is, like, in different fonts. It's just, like, but that's Taylor find Swift something music. new. <laughs> and that's Taylor the Swift people music. No way it's not. It is. It's not it is. Okay, and also the people that go bashing Taylor Swift a lot don't know a lot of her less popular songs. <laughs> <coughs> in certain albums. I can't say anything and I'm not in the video. There's a spot spot on the couch. Yeah, there is a spot. Okay, we have another (laughs) hater joining us. Yeah! Eddie, would you like to share why you hate Taylor Swift so much? Um. Okay. I get you guys are not Swifties. I... Reason I hate her her is because of her fans. Her fans are literally crazy. I can agree with that. Strange. They are literally no, they're not strange. strange. Like they're it's like, insane. oh my gosh, number thirteen's her favorite number. So all of these things. It's Super Bowl fifty eight. Five plus eight is thirteen. Yeah, Travis is gonna they, like propose. all like. I literally saw it. Co- it's <laughs> just a coincidence. It's okay, like no, no, listen, no, listen. That's that is crazy. Okay, but you know how many other things have conspiracy theories like that? People do that with everything, though. With everything. Yeah, you're right on that. People do yeah, that, so but it's like, not like it's just her fans. But they, but can you name? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But they don't do it with every single artist. Like you don't see people about Post Malone saying the same type of stuff. I mean, his. Did con- you go deep diving? Did 
you go look in his comments or anything? There are crazy people with everybody. Yeah. Yes, everybody. but Taylor Swift's, yeah. she has way more. And if we're going to talk about fan bases, let's talk about country men. Cause, and rap. For goodness sake, like, both of those <laughs> suck. Like, Wait, look can at you, the people that can listen you, to those. Can you give me, concert? like, a big fan base For that is crazy? Sake. Like, give me a country well, fan base word, that is crazy, exactly. like, Taylor. Zach Bryan. Yeah. Um, Morgan Wallen. Oh, yeah. I feel like yeah. they're, his fans are kind of crazy, too. Probably not as crazy as Taylor's, but. And yeah. Taylor's to add into those, like, country, like, music stars is, like, the old weird men that are at those shows. You're not going to see a lot of men at Taylor Swift. <laughs> like, Unless they're yeah. boyfriends that are being drug along. Or maybe some other type of men. I think we all should agree that the Swifties are the most like annoying fans in all the world. Like, yeah, they're no in all the world. Like, as the Swifties. Probably. I, I Hello, they're they're the worse believers. than Chiefs fans. If believers? you ask a general person, are you the Swifties? They say, <laughs> gross. No. No, not true. Okay, let's just go ask a random person. I'll go ask Amber. No, you can't ask someone you know. You I can go ask to be. I can go ask. I can go ask vegans. You're asking actual Swifties. Like, go ask. Ask a girl tonight on the basketball court. Hey, are you a Swifty? I'm sure she'll tell you no. Okay. Anyway, I'm just saying, if you ask a general person, they'll say no. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. Like, God no. I probably not in this. Actually, there are a lot of Swifties. I will admit that I did grow up listening to Shake It Off with my family. See? So it's not like I've never listened to her music. Shake It Off is her most popular song. It is Todd Fink's favorite song. What? What did you just say, Nora? Blank Blank Space. space. That's a song. I also... Nice to meet you where you've been. Yeah, our song is easily her best, by far. I do like Never Getting Back Together because... that's a good one. Okay, that one's... For me, these are all of her top songs. Or uh, I'm feeling 22. I like that one. Yeah, 22. I literally only know that her know old songs you. are good. Her new Dance songs that she's coming out with, I just think that like they're all the same. Th- yeah, they're all Can the same. Louder for the people in the back. Which songs? They are the all the same. same. Which one? <laughs> the, like which album? All of them. <laughs> it's the same. Uh, 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 I could play two First albums all. right now, and they would do not sound the same yes. at all. I'll play "Shake It Off," and then I'll play something from. No, no, no. Okay, you can't. Her, her new stuff. Her, her new stuff. stuff. "Shake It Off" was folklore like is, twenty. I can what? play "Folklore" is pretty new. new. It's like what three years old, maybe. Yeah. No. What is her newest album? Midnight's. Something. Um, anti the anti album. Anti to Midnight's. Yeah. I just that feel like bad. I don't really hate Taylor Swift. You can't. She's just overhyped. It's by just, a lot. It's just like the people who say, I don't know. But I'm is that her fault marketing? When I go to her concert. Okay, that's a little extreme. No, it's just funny because I've seen all these TikToks. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't actually throw a brick well, at like anyone's she's just, face. She's so overhyped for how basic her music is. Hmm, yeah. like, that's my problem with it. Is she's not doing anything that's like, oh my God, this is absolutely the greatest song I've ever heard. It's just basic music that... Anybody could, but that's every, but that's artist. every artist. It's every yes, artist. but she is no. like she's put at the very top. Because she's good like, at she's marketing. Have you been on TikTok lately? Wait, does she have merch? Yeah, yeah. Do you can right. say that with any Taylor music Swift genre ever, though. No. All genres sound the same. If you're gonna listen to a genre, every song is gonna have similarities. Yes, but Taylor Swift just comp- yeah. she copy and paste ninety percent of her songs. And she and so. she reaches <coughs> top of the charts every single time because you can't her fans say that she hasn't copied and pasted her songs. Yes, she literally came out with albums called Taylor's version just because she was getting. That's because she needed to, because that's not she copy. wasn't getting money. She from wasn't them. getting paid. She didn't own them. I albums. know. So you're not saying oh, that's gosh. copy and pasting is what I'm saying. She has money. She has a lot of money. Well, yeah, that's copy. She and wasn't pasting. getting paid to the amount she thought she deserved. Oh, oh so she thinks highly of herself. Wait, wait. My name's Taylor Swift. I'm going to take a 13 minute flight. So she flight. thinks highly of okay. herself. Josh, I'm if you think that you deserve 2 million for your songs and you're only getting a million, you're going to say you're going to not you're going to pass up on the chance to get the 2 million. Yeah, that is my chance. I'm not going to cry about it and oh, copy and paste the other songs and Did she cry about it? She didn't cry. And it's about not it. only you're just do about it. the money, it's also about the people who produced it. Like they were being rude to her. You don't know the whole story, Josh. So you can't be talking. Tell us the whole story. Yeah, tell us the whole story. I don't know the whole story either. Isn't it like the? I'm defending her. Wait, I'm defending her because I know more than you. Wait, I can talk on it. (laughs) Weren't weren't like the producers like? They said that they signed a contract with her or something on these albums, and then she said that she was supposed to get set amount of money, but they were cutting her off of that amount of money. So th- she was getting ripped off. Okay. So she yeah, came on with new versions. It's fair. 
And because of her crazy fan base, of course she's going to get all that money back. Because she's good at marketing. I think that that is, like, well, she, mean, she is a good marketing. marketing First of all, good. How, when did yeah. Swifties become a thing? When they oh, went... A long time. Because crazy, crazy! It was. I feel like it was it, right around her Eras tour. No, Me. I feel that's, like they were crazy that's when they before peaked, that. I feel like that's they when they. Yeah, at the, they peaked that, at the. It Aeros seems tour. like they peaked. I think they. Taylor Swift hasn't gone on tour in a long time, long and so time. you're bringing every single crazy Taylor Swift fan. They peaked. It went Eras tour, dating Travis Kelsey, to now. Like it just went. Once she started dating Travis Kelsey, she was everywhere. Like. All over TikTok. All you see. I can't watch TikTok without seeing 15 She Taylor can't posts. help it's that, so though. I realize that, that she can't help it, but I'm just saying, like, I don't get why she's the number one artist. Some people say that she's better than Michael Jackson in terms of popularity. No, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, no. they say that, like, That's she's different. better than Michael Jackson in terms of popularity, which she's not, and she shouldn't be, because she's not That's nearly still as like good as Michael cultural Jackson. That's like a cultural thing. Like, music is so much different now than it was when Michael Jackson yeah. was mm-hmm. there. Yeah, that's true. Because, yeah. like, you see, she's the same artist as, like, Olivia Rodrigo. They're, like, the same. Yeah. I think oh, Olivia Rodrigo. And, like, I totally Grande agree. And, like, all yeah, of Olivia Rodrigo is on her way to becoming the next Taylor Swift. Yeah. Maybe not as popular, but I think she has a couple good songs, like Taylor, but they're kind of the same song over and over again. I don't again. think we'll see another Taylor Swift, just like nobody thought we'd see another Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Blow up. So, like, the next Taylor Swift, we don't know who that is. Yeah, I just I'm think that Olivia Rodrigo I is kind of doing Rodrigo. the same formula formula as Taylor Swift, like breakup song. Breakup Olivia song, Rodrigo song. is going to be this day and age is now Taylor Swift. Eventually. I think mm-hmm. yeah, in terms like, of like Swifties music. are also yeah. fans of Olivia Rodrigo, which is but they're they're just not as aggressive. Yeah, so. Bra- it's the breakup songs. I don't think Olivia. I think it's the tours. Like she's not that famous in Europe, mm-hmm. yeah. and Taylor Swift is famous in everywhere. Yeah, I don't think Olivia Rodrigo is going to be Was she, though, like, when she first famous. came out with her first albums? Like, not really. Before. Taylor Swift? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Probably not. Because, like, Olivia's only on her, what, second album right now? Third, second. And she's already... No, second. 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 Yeah, she second. She has, she has a few singles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But she has two albums. Those hard work. <laughs> so she's already getting all these top-charted <laughs> songs. And she's um, right up. Sorry. I've, yeah, I just... I don't hate Taylor Swift because she's bad or anything it's just i don't think she's that good she's mid she's, she's not as good as people make her out to be who would you say is your top tier artist then top tier like all time like you yeah. could listen to every now? single day you know i could listen to an artist every single day i i go from yeah, my country's like to rap to yeah that's exactly what taylor swift is no. she has country songs <laughs> rap songs <laughs> <laughs> No, what? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I just read it last yeah, night. Beyonce came out with country songs? She's coming out with a country album. Queen Bee. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like that's not going to go well. It's There's not no going to go well. I mean, she, n- no disrespect to Beyonce. Beyonce's she fan is, base, I think, is crazy, too. Oh, agreed, yeah. Like I just, they, don't have their own, they don't have their own names for themselves. Queen like, what would... Oh. oh. Believers. Okay, but here's the Me. thing. Taylor Swift fans, Us. not Taylor Swift fans, Swifties... Literally everybody else. It's that big of a gap. Okay. On the craziness listen. scale, it's not even close. I'm telling you. If Justin okay, Bieber like went on an heiress tour, I would be going on as crazy as these people. I'm not talking about Justin Bieber, though. These people, though, I like, know, but I'm telling you, like, if that any huge, other like, artist went Justin on tour. Bieber. I'm saying, like, Beyonce, they haven't gone on tour in a long time. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, if I agree they went that on tour, it's going to go on a huge spike. Yeah. yeah. And Rihanna. But yeah. the fact that. But again, I don't think that she would be on national news for that. I do. Yeah, I think she would. Okay, but would. the fact that it's like Taylor Swift ruined and they, No offense to hey, Taylor, where, like I'm not trying to diss on her, but she has no, ruined I, NFL. She no. has ruined the NFL. It's she took her. up one. If you think she of the took NFL, up one percent of Taylor every Swift. broadcast. Time, that's not a lot not for somebody, fault. but for somebody that's not even on the field to be on the show one percent of the time, that's insane. How's that okay, but that's more like the know. NFL trying to profit off her. That's the yeah. Chiefs trying to profit off her. Because that's true. That's they everybody. Are. They did. They did. They're making huge money. Like Travis Kelsey's yes. so jersey but is all them, but sold out to Crazy Teeth. I, it's I, not I her forgot fault, what I said. But it's, it's her, time, her and her fans ruined football. Not her, I guess, but her they fans. ruined it by... Because now Swifties are all, all trying to be Chiefs fans and bandwagon fans. Yes, like, and they all come out with like merch so that's like, like number eighty-seven is 
my favorite player because it's Taylor. They put Tra- or Taylor put Travis on the map. No, 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 he, no, he I did. I don't think she that's the case though. And like, I also don't the agree. Taylor Swift fans, ninety percent of them don't like football, and none of them are going to want to go to football. Now, if she was going to perform at the football game, yeah, she would take up a whole bunch of seats. You think people would just go to Chiefs games just to see Taylor Swift now? I, yeah. I genuinely, that, like I genuinely genuine think people have done that, and that they yeah, will they continue. don't care about the football first, anymore. Like they just the top see one percent really well, crazy people, football? but that doesn't yeah, ruin what? football. You're still watching the game. You're really it's gonna search like through the crowds there. and look for T Swift fans. Um, her Swifties are pretty crazy. So yeah, I do think they would. It's not hard to spot. No, They're I'm all wearing you, uh, Travis Swift jerseys. I'm not saying. I just would not like to see the same like. When you look at an NFL game, you watch it, you don't see one specific person in the crowd over and over and over again, right? Spread the love, because they don't show, like Simone Biles, her husband plays for the Packers. I have not seen her on camera once this entire year. Yeah, Jason Kelsey, he was. He wasn't on the focus, though. He was in the background. Every time I show Taylor Swift, though, it's when Travis Kelsey does something. No, it's what Isaiah Pacheco scored a touchdown in an NFL game. They were playing the Packers, and they showed Taylor Swift. Travis Kelsey wasn't even on I'm the field. I'm talking about, like, in the Super Bowl game. They still, no, they showed. I feel like 90% of it was when the Chiefs did something or it was, Travis Yeah, Kelsey when the Chiefs something. do something, they don't need to show her. When Travis, Travis does something, do much, so. sure, go ahead. But they did it when Patrick Mahomes ran for, like, 10 yards, and they showed Taylor Swift, and it's like, why? Nobody cares. Why do we need to see Okay, Blake Lively and Ice Spice were also there, so... Yeah, why are you... I care that you they're care showing so her because they, they showed her 12 times. Josh, that's hey, insane. How do you know it was her? Guess who else was in that booth? Ice Spice and Blake Lively. Yep. Tell me what Ice Spice knows about Because she was on the center of the screen, Nora. Okay, but Ice Spice was right next to her. So okay, but tell me, like, what's the problem with that? Like, what is that distracting the football game from? I don't want to. I don't want to see the Chiefs score a touchdown and then oh, there's Taylor Swift. No, show me the celebration. I want to see those guys get hype. Yeah, as a Chiefs fan, I do like seeing Taylor Swift's face every time. Thank you. <laughs> and like, so there was like a lot of like way artists in the Super Bowl, and they didn't see like show them. All, all the Taylor Swift, I don't know why. I don't know. I'm I mean, not the I know person. it's not That's her the NFL. Fault, but I still don't like it. That okay, is the NFL trying to watch market. Football. I shouldn't be. She's just, she's just being a good supporting girlfriend. Yeah. yeah even that's though great. We I'm not, not hitting on her for this. I'm hitting on the NFL okay, for this. Okay, I can't finish a sentence. Go ahead. Even sorry. though, it's okay. Even though we might not like her boyfriend, some of us. She's still there to support him, and it's not her fault that the camera's always on her. Yeah, I, I don't even like Travis Kelsey because I lost all due respect for him after he literally yelled at his coach and shoved him. Yeah. So, but I'm not hating on. I do, him. I do agree with they show her too much, but exactly. it is not her fault. Yeah, and he I agree. Did it's, say that. it's not her fault. It's the NFL's, yeah. but at the same time, like her fans go crazy for it, and that's why they show it is because her fans are the reason that they're making more money off of it. And it's a trend right now. It'll go away. Like. Yeah. People will get over it. Uh, yeah, I, it will. Watch it happen next year. I feel like they'll show her just as many times. Mm-hmm. I Probably feel like they'll, it'll... And Chiefs are going to have... Once she's done with the Eras tour, she's... She's going to break up with Travis Kelsey, oh. release a new album no, about... No, I think they're in love. Yeah. Another I breakup song. I don't think they're song. breaking up. I don't know. I, don't I hope we g- don't know much about their relationship. I hope to know. God they don't, because I cannot I handle another her. Taylor Swift breakup album. I can. Oh. I can. That'd I be can. good. That would be really good. On the future. No. I saw, I s- I've seen like TikTok, oh my gosh. TikToks about it and people write the whole lyrics oh, yeah. in the yeah, comments. And it's so funny. <laughs> Tried to score a touchdown, but it was an interception. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen that one. That one's it's so funny. I love those TikToks. <laughs> no, I saw the. So you watch Taylor Swift TikToks? I, I can't avoid them. They're I think everywhere. It's just your I'm not a Swifty, job. and I have never seen Taylor Swift on my. Well, no, page. Yeah, I watch for you page. I watch the football ones. Uh, like Josh, NFL. is there something you're not telling us? Yeah, you I'm a Swifty. Like I'm a Swifty. Like I'm a Swifty. Like <laughs> um, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I, I watch the NFL TikToks all the time because I just like to see. You know, like I'm the on highlights like and you like to see Taylor behind, Swift. behind the scenes stuff. No, I hate to see Taylor Swift. It was a joke. Sh- sucks. 
Um, oh, but they yeah, just show her. Sucks is a all big time. word because you like some of her music, so you can't say she sucks. I like, Thank I like you. two songs, three songs, maybe. She Four. is okay. <clears throat> she's okay. Fine. She's I mid. will she's say mid. you haven't discovered any of her good songs because you showed she me. She has you so sh- many other good songs. I sat down with my iPad and I said, Kaylin, I showed you three. I said, Kaylin, play me some songs. And, and you showed me three. And I was like, okay, play some more. And you were like, no, just listen through that album. I did. I listened through four more songs. And I was like, what it's album was it? Not your bag, I don't know, 1989 maybe. Okay, that's Ooh. not that's it's it's all right. It's speak not speak now. Speak now. Th- listen it now. might have been There's now. I don't even remember. No, listen to that one. Fearless okay. is a good album too. Okay. Yeah, sorry, but <laughs> don't listen to the love. But no, I I get where people are coming from with all this Swifty stuff, but I'm not one, so I. No. I just think she's a good marketer. Mm-hmm. Marketer. <laughs> Okay, well, I yeah. should have a marketing degree instead of her singing. What? I she mean, she's making she millions. She did graduate from. Oh yeah, NYU. I don't. I don't like. She's a thirty-year-old making this much money. Jealous. Yeah, her so basically, Taylor's mid. That's it. Overrated. Oh. She's overrated. <coughs> That's my. Opinion. In your opinion. People are allowed to enjoy her. Okay. Yeah, I agree. In Josh's opinion, she's overrated. In others, she's not. You gotta give credit <laughs> where credit's due. Period. Cre- yeah, credit where credit is due. She. Is Good marketer, of, makes a lot of, the, of money, I, gets people's eyes. Your turn, I guess. Well, I've been trying to talk this whole time. Okay, she's one of the biggest artists of all time. <laughs> she's one of the richest artists of all time. Yeah, she's blown up and good for her, but overrated. You guys are just going to have to agree to disagree because not everything is everyone's cup of tea because Jordan said she doesn't like country. So, yeah, yeah this just is, yeah. agree to I like disagree. Some country, but not all country. Yeah, this not everyone yes no enjoys answer. the same thing. So like it's okay if you like Taylor yeah, Swift or if you don't like Taylor okay. Swift. <laughs> Thanks, bye. The same yeah, this Thanks, isn't bye. A, this isn't a w- yes or no <laughs> question. This was it's approved by Prince Wadik. I respect your opinion. It's either you like her, you think she's bad, or you think she's just. I respect your okay. opinion. Just don't go posting on your story that don't make it your whole personality. Yeah, I yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. I don't make it my whole personality <laughs> that it's like I hate Taylor Swift. That's my whole like. All I talk about is why I hate Taylor Swift. No, yeah, find a no. find yeah. a find a hobby. Also, yeah. find a new find hobby a if hobby? you're obsessing with Taylor Swift. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you are tracking your day to day life, I agree with else. I agree with what Jordan just said. If you are a Swifty, figure it out. Find a, find a hobby. Yeah. Find a hobby. Find a new. If you're a Swifty, find a hobby. Because that's insane. If you're a Swifty, chill out. Yeah. yeah. You can be a fan. You, you can, can be listen a fan, to music. But not when you have a. Pillow size. Yeah, like you can't, can't, can't track in the flights. That's oh, it's gone all over. That's so weird. Don't be predicting that she's going to be Bieber. proposed to at the Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah. Okay, but the the um the TikToks about her like having to roll over in her bed and it shows like a. I don't have TikTok here. Oh, so she <laughs> took a 13 minute flight, and people are freaking out because like, well, I mean that's not a good thing. Yeah. Wait, where was right? it to and from? It was in like St. Louis, and she took like a 13 minute flight, St. Louis to St. Louis or something like that. I don't know. It was through one city because it would have been like a 40 minute drive. Oh. And she took a 13 minute flight. So now people are posting TikToks of her, like, uh, and it's like a picture or a video of a helicopter flying like 10 feet. And it's like Taylor Swift when she needs to roll over in bed. <laughs> and it's the <laughs> funniest thing ever. I love watching I those. mean, if I had that money, I would take a 13 minute Same. flight too. Well, the thing is, like, she was in a rush for the okay. environment. <laughs> she she like, did. More time to get to the airport. I wouldn't be mad with it. But she did say that she, like, she cared about the environment. Like, I saw somewhere in, like, 2020 or something like that. Well, everyone cares about the environment. She didn't want to cause a crash. But she said, the environment is all, it's so scary, and we need to do something more. Everyone says, don't take 13 minutes. She's trying to prevent the Swifties from running in the streets or something. <laughs> yeah, her fan base is it's crazy. Safer to probably, she's try, probably trying to run away from them. Maybe. Maybe she just needs, like, the presidential escort or something. Even that doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we have agreed to disagree. Yeah, agree to disagree. I think she's overrated. They think she's not. Whatever. We'll, le- we'll leave the rest for the viewers. Yeah, we'll make it up to you guys. Yeah. That's all we have <laughs> for JLJ. Welcome, Jordan, to the to the podcast as our newest member. Um, yeah, that's all we got for you today. See you next time. Adios. Bye. <laughs>